my name is Roda Ejewa Yeboa, and I'm the quality assurance personnel here, brought in by PFS. I've been working at ANS Mill for one year, two months now. What I do here is I'm basically supposed to be doing the quality, food quality assurance and then control staff here. And then I also do the accounting part. And then when it comes to production too, I also do checks on that to make sure how it's running. Actually, I can operate the machine if no one is around. I'm not just restrained to my field of study. I am doing outside my field and that has been quite interesting and adventurous because I didn't know much about these areas, but now I'm challenged to learn and then do more in such areas too. Mostly, I work directly with Christian, so he communicates down to me whatever that discuss when you guys go for meeting, and then I get the message down here, and I try to communicate to Auntie Kate. We see how best we can go about it. Those we can implement as soon as possible, we do that, and those we can't, it's something that we're still going to look up to when the time comes. In terms of quality and then hygiene, there has been a lot of improvement. With the hygiene, it wasn't something that was being done, but I was advising talking to her about it, the importance of it and all that. And she finally got to understand that well, it's going to go a long way to help. What I realized is um, what we learn in school is quite different when you come on field and what you expect to be done, it's not always so. Sometimes you just have to improvise. We are so much into growing than preserving. So much should be much attention should also be shifted to the preservation aspect, where we don't just grow, but then make efforts to make sure what we are growing stays in the system, and then it gets to the table, not go away, going to waste. Personally, I chose to work with PFS because I realized um, we food scientists that's our main job to be on the floor helping these businesses grow. Because at the end of the day. You'll be up there and then someone else who know nothing about food is feeding you. So if you're down here knowing what is going on, making sure it's been done right, it helps the whole community and the country as a whole. I'm trying to get a master's and then work in the area of agriculture and food security. And I would like to come back down here and help my country because I see it's a threat to us in the near future. It's, it has already started, actually. Me coming here was very difficult for me because I was moving all the way to this place. I knew no one, but I think I've really learned a lot. Now I know much about rice, and having a personal encounter with these farmers make you understand that there is so much to do as a country to help the people in it. So I think sometimes you just have to go outside our comfort zone and help other people.